hello everybody hello so welcome back to the channel um my name is danetta one of ashley's really good friends yes, well you is. know we're still hanging out or uh -huh. whatever I'm trying to yeah trying to. trying to so we're going to be talking today about uh kind of like how we have been treated as females mm -hmm. uh during the black lives matter movement so uh like say for instance if we were to be in a store or something like that versus before and after so before the black lives matter people wouldn't even really pay attention to us that much and they would treat us like how they normally would treat black people but now that the black lives have is like in full effect people have been treating us a lot different some it may be a lot better and then others it may be you know worse right, right so right. um you want to go ahead and say your experiences as far as like how you've been treated right. before okay, and then yeah. after okay so with my experience before like in my surrounding areas if i go to certain places that you know that i go to all the time and they know me you know i would get the hey how you doing if they know my name they'll say my name um you know all nice and comfortable make me come back whatever um to the point where i don't even have to show my id that's mm. you know that's how comfortable that's how much they know me um after the george floyd and this whole black life matter things that's been going on mm -hmm. um going into places that um that i normally go into like i was speaking before um depending on who's there um certain people you know they'll get excited when they see me like or over excited some people are extra friendly some still have an attitude but um yeah. lately it's been pretty good i guess because they know me and this is my area now right, if i right. have been going somewhere else that people really don't know me and i don't know them um they've been on me like a hawk like they're the police and you know just watching me looking at me up and down um you know it's the normal stuff like they're going back to as soon as they see a black person even though i'm a female locking their doors holding their purses like just weird um walking in the store i'm not the only person in there but the whole store following me and uh watching me um the other day me and my friend went out to eat and i felt like um since we we're eating outside i felt like they were watching us especially because we sat in a far corner that was close to like where you could just hop up and leave and i felt like they were watching us and because they came to our table so many times different people over and over like can we eat our food without you do you need this are you good are you good different people so i felt like okay they were on us or watching us like are they gonna pay are they gonna just up and leave so it's been it's been different for me but i can honestly say it hasn't been bad well then that's a good thing because i feel like i kind of had like a totally different yeah. experience uh. um it wasn't like too bad mm -hmm. but uh people definitely treat you different mm -hmm. um i feel like they kind of target you like you said like how they kind of keep watching mm -hmm. over you and stuff it's like what do you need to watch me for you know mm -hmm. i'm a regular human being just the same mm -hmm. way that you are let me eat in peace i don't need you to be watching me right but um like for instance if i were to go into like a store or something yeah they definitely will be watching me and like seeing what i'm doing even with my little six-year-old child like y'all really think that i'm gonna come in yep. here in this store and you know yes. like maybe riot or something with it like come on now like seriously what am i gonna do to your store right. i don't need you following me i'm bringing my money to your company i don't need you sitting right. here watching me like a hawk like is my money not good enough for you because then i could take it somewhere else somewhere else exactly but it's like it's just kind of tricky with this because some people like they kind of act like they on your side and stuff mm -hmm. as far as like oh the black lives matter and stuff mm -hmm. like this but a lot of the times they just saying that because they are afraid yeah. that you might you know do something to their exactly. store or something right. like so exactly. it's kind of crazy and that you said that 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 yeah that's another thing like i feel like that's you know lately a lot of people been extra friendly too when mm -hmm. you go into places just so you wouldn't you know feel uncomfortable or you right or yeah. you wouldn't think yeah. or want to like do something to their store and mm -hmm. it, it's it's just been kind of weird but at the same time you know me being me i know me i know i don't bother nobody i know i'm not here to no bother nobody i just want to get in get out do what i gotta do right. and get on and, and yeah. that's how it is yeah so the fact that they being super friendly is something that should be kind of like uh i saw mm -hmm. for some people so the reason why i say that is because this is the way that we should be treated Every all time. Yep. the time all not time. just because like there's a something that's going on like we right. should constantly be treated this way so mm -hmm. it feel kind of like not normal for us to be you know treated that way because we so used to be treated like 
bound yep. and bad mm-hmm. yeah we we so used to be treated yep. bad that we don't really know what it feels like for them to treat us good so we like what the heck is yeah, going so on yeah, like why they, they doing, doing that like, you know they- <laughs> yeah it's like okay why they doing all that but mm-hmm. this is the way that they're supposed to be treating us and it's bad too like you said that we're so uncomfortable with it because we're not used to them giving it to us, exactly. you know what I mean? And that sucks that you have to, you know, be comfortable it's like terrible. that. And get used to, you have to get used to a way somebody treats you, yeah, you know what I mean? definitely. And that's, that's, I feel like that's messed up. I think that is totally messed up. People shouldn't be treating people that way. They don't treat, the only people, especially, I have to say this, as controversial as it may be, black women get treated like shit. Yes. We get treated like shit. Yes. But, um, and other people, you know, they don't get treated that way. So they don't know how it feels when you hear somebody say, oh, black lives matter. And then they say, oh, all lives matter. No, black lives matter. Right. Don't take it out of proportion and, you know, switch it to something of what it's not. Because what we're saying is that black people are mostly targeted exactly. for just walking down the street. But they understand that. They they, they understand do. what black lives matter means. They, they understand do. what it's saying. It's just the simple fact that they don't want it. And what they I don't, don't understand, like, it's like, why are you mad? Because we're asking you to stop killing us. Exactly. Why are you mad? Because we're saying, let us get a piece of the pie, which was originally ours that you took from us anyway, and we just want it back. Why can't we have that? Exactly. Let us have it. Give it to us. And then it's like, at the same time, it's like, we can't win for losing. It's we like, really can't. one minute you say, we're nothing, we're lazy, we're this, we're that. And then it's like, once somebody does get ahead, you try to find some way to take it down. It's like, oh, you guys can make it. You can have a little bit, but you can't be better than us. Exactly. You cannot, That's so true, though. You cannot be better. It's than so we'll true. give you a little bit, and not all of you. We'll, we'll give, we'll pick about, out of the 10, we'll pick about three of you. Exactly. And we'll let you get a little something. When all something. of them is probably qualified. But then it's like, qualified. then to me, I feel like the three out of that 10 is the reason why you chose mm-hmm. that three. Yes, that's true, to, too. To progress in a certain way, mm-hmm. because... If you let somebody like me mm-hmm. move forward, so is my community. Exactly. And you don't want somebody like me getting some money. Exactly. <laughs> they know exactly what you what they do. Yep. They want them people that, I don't know what you call them, Uncle Tom, the ones that like uh-huh. yep. follow the rules and uh-huh. do everything they supposed to do. But Because mm-hmm. they scared and they going to do whatever they it's need like to do. It's like we can't win for anything. Yeah. It's just, it, and it sucks. But then it's like you guys want our culture. At the end of the day, you guys better yeah. be careful. Because by by twenty forty two, you white folks gonna be an extinct. Yes. I'm telling you, it's gonna be it's yes. gonna be a wrap for you guys. So I mean, it's gonna come back around full circle. All I'm asking for is my money back that you guys rightfully took from me and my people. Okay, <laughs> because I'm out here working. Already, uh, I heard they already uh, passed a law or something like that in North Carolina. What? I could be wrong. Don't quote me. If y'all know, comment down below. Let me know what y'all do know because I don't know. But I think they did pass something where they will be receiving restitution in either South Carolina or North Carolina. Yes. I, I just so, wonder how that's going to work because that's a lot of money. And my thing is, how are, and like, how do they know who they can give that to? Exactly. Like, how do you know whom to pass that out to? Because And the reason why I feel like they didn't do that before is because there's still a lot of black people. They did the same things with the Indians, but it was only so few of them left. And that's why they was able to, you know, give it to them. They got casinos and yeah. stuff. And then the that's Jewish true, true. people, they also were able to get restitution but it's a and stuff them. like that. Yeah, that and, is and true. They got so money. They can, do it, they can do that for And my thing is, it's people. like, it, yeah, yeah, that's true. I, like, uh, we yeah. need it. We deserve it. It's, it's our money. It. And then, like, how you saying, like, how they gave it to the Indians. A part of me thinking they didn't give it, you know, they haven't given our restitution because, too, mm-hmm. if you really go through history, we are the Indians. Do you know how much money that is to us black yeah. folks, us African-Americans, us color folks that is ours that we deserve, that's supposed exactly. to be put back into our pockets? For real. So it's like, give it to us. Why? Why haven't you given it to us, though? That's crazy. You've right. given everybody else theirs. Why not ours? Because Why? Yeah. But that goes back to me when I was saying, you don't want us to... Go to up succeed, higher you know what I mean. What you guys want us to, and they know is, that we will exactly because they know you. We will take over. We gonna take everything. Because I told my daughter the other day, I said, you know, I said, um, when you and your, you know, because my where we say it's a lot of Hispanics. She yeah, has same here. She has a lot of Hispanic friends. She has a lot of uh uh black friends, and she has a few mm-hmm. few white friends. Mm-hmm. And you know, she comes home. She tells us how her day was. She tells right. me, you know, what happened at school. And she has told me something about them playing sports and dancing. Mm-hmm. My daughter could dance. She she danced very well. When it comes to sports, she could play sports, but she doesn't want to. Right. So she was saying, you know, how she was better than a lot of girls and 
even on the sports, she was better. And um, she was saying, you know, how some of the, the white kids and, the black, and I'm not the black, I'm sorry, the Hispanic kids were like, um, uh, you know, basically trying to say like, she, you know, she's only good because she's this or she's because she's black and we're through with this. And I was like, that's only because I said, because I said, yeah, it's the truth. And that might be, that might be. But I that said, shouldn't but even scared. be of discussion just because if it was kids. somebody else, mm -hmm. oh, they only good because they white. Oh, they only good because yeah. they're like, no, I'm good because I'm like, that damn that's good. good. Yeah, and my daughter, is, she is good. And she, she brought up something else where um, I had to tell her like, you know what I said, a lot of times, you know, other races are intimidated by oh, us. Oh yeah, definitely. Um, mm -hmm. Just by the fact that we are um, athletic. I said, um, mm -hmm. I said, do you know, Right now, if I put you at the end of the street with any of your Hispanic friends and your white friend, and I let them get a head start, right. I said, do you know that you can still catch up to them right. and pass them? I said, do you know that they know that too? Oh, yeah, they do. I said, mm -hmm. they know, especially your little white friends, they know they have an upper hand in life. Yeah, they, they, they know, know it. it. I said, they probably got both their parents in the home. So true. I said, they probably got grandparents that call, aunties and uncles that come through. Mm -hmm. I'm like, they probably got a little trust fund somewhere. They, they yeah. got something. They have, they have resources that we don't have. Right. I said, a lot of times, these white folks, their problem is intimidation bias. They know how mm -hmm. it's easy for us to do things. Totally. It's like for totally. us black folks, we could watch you do something and we got it. Do right. you know what I mean? That and is so they true, know that. though. That is they know really that. true. So it's like when you think of like the office. And they get mad about they get it. Mad. That yes. actually happened they, to me. Because like, they, they know it. Because it's nothing to us. They know it. They and try, they try it's to like, downplay your skills. So you stuff, won't. So they, because they don't want like, you to oh, get to where they are. If you, if you applied your skills because you learned it. Like, no, I'm that good exactly. at what I do. Like, don't, and they're mad because it was nothing for you to learn that skill. It was nothing for you. To do that skill, and now here you are, not in the same position as them, exactly. but you're in the same workplace as them, knowing somebody is watching you yeah. do what you do, exactly. and they know mm -hmm. you can take their job. Exactly. And that's what they don't want. They scared. They know it's going to be nothing. It's going to be easy for us to come through mm -hmm. and take and do what they do. So they're intimidated by us oh, yeah. regardless. Definitely. They're right. intimidated by the way we walk. Right. Seriously. We don't have to do anything. They are right. intimidated by us, period. And I try to let my daughter know that, period. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's good to let her know that, too, like, as like young as she is now. Because when she gets older, she's going to be able to carry that mm -hmm. into her adulthood. Mm -hmm. And she's going to be able to teach her daughter and all of that. And I do the same thing with my son, too. I definitely teach him, like, oh, don't be discriminate against yourself right you know make sure you love yourself like your skin is beautiful no matter what because like you say he we live in a hispanic predominantly mm -hmm. hispanic neighborhood and him going to the school they pick on him a lot like oh, yeah. he kind of gets bullied and i yeah. went and told the principal and all of that but um i just let him know like because at the end of the day they won't always do something stick up for yourself and let them know like you really are a king. Right. We are kings and queens. And right. don't let nobody ever take that away from you. Exactly. Because, yeah. Exactly. It's so important. Girl, yeah. Especially with these kids and everybody talking about something, you know, this generation is the generation. I don't know what is the generation. I don't right. know what that means. Because yeah, me either. I'm looking and listening to my daughter yeah, and right. I'm scared. Okay. Yeah. So I don't want <laughs> this generation to be the generation, whatever you're talking about. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I've been seeing little videos of like a lot of these little white kids, you know, you know, mm -hmm. they're, they're bringing up all history saying, you know, you know how white people, you know, we come from the mountains or we're, you know, we're from, you know, albinos and, you know, they bringing out and I'm like, okay, this is not, this is not nothing new but it's the fact that it's new to no. you but yeah. then it's like it's not new to you they knew about well, it's it not it, it's new to you but it's not new to your family right. because i'm pretty sure your grandmother your they great know. grandmother they, know. they knew the deal it's just that you you are the one that don't care no more you right. the one is like you know what let me go ahead and uh, flip the script on the family one time and tell everybody i'm not with that <laughs> <laughs> basically <laughs> so now nutshell. you got a lot of this new generation that's trying to bring out that. and that's i think why that they're scared generation. too and stuff like that makes mm -hmm. me think you know uh you know that give us another 20 30 years and the white race is gonna be seriously, seriously. It's through. that's why they've been trying to wipe us out incarcerate black people all the time killing them law enforcement all of that stuff like that because they're trying to wipe us out because they know that their time is coming mm -hmm. and so it's not really that many of them as they think it's more minorities in the exactly. world than it is white people exactly. but they try to portray and put a big picture that exactly. it's just white people like that's just and not yeah. true that just sounds so stupid you keep letting us breathe with y'all hmm. you really ain't gonna have a really? race left i mean it's and that's like, why like, they like, mix in. Because now that's you don't know who is what and what is who. Right. Like, you can, you can look at somebody and be like, oh, I thought you was black. No, I'm straight 
Puerto Rican. I'm straight Dominican. Exactly. I'm straight. Or you be like, what? Yep. Or no, my dad's black, but my mom's Australian. Okay, so you right. black and white. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you you black. Yeah. Right. Keep letting us mix with y'all. There's not going to be no more. Right. It's, it's going to be black there. race all around here. Then you, whatever left for y'all, really going to be bad. And to keep it real, shoot, everybody come from Africa anyway. Anyways, exactly. Mitochondrial exactly. Eve. But just think about it. Why do you think all the white folks ran to Africa and tried to take over? The oil. The mm -hmm. gold. The gold. Everything. The land. Like everything. Help. The people. The melanin. Mm -hmm. Africa is the life. Like that's why you yep. went over there and tried to take over because you know it. Exactly. So I'm just happy that you know I, I I'm kind of learning and learning Definitely. things and figuring out things and stuff and you know trying to learn the truth about what, you know how the world is and was and what's right, right. and what's not. It's kind of exciting and to me. And that's a good thing because social media definitely helped that out so yeah. much. I don't think the person who invented, like, you know, the social media thing that they knew it was going to come this way because mostly it's the white person that right, invented right, it. Right, right, I don't think they knew it was going to backfire on them. That's why Donald Trump now, he's trying to, like, you know, get rid of TikTok and all of that. But because it's exposing yeah. the truth. Yeah, yeah, because they go hard on TikTok. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, TikTok got it going on right now with the platform real. of everything they everything do. i mean they pulling out everything and they were discussing how they was blocking the george floyd i'm like mm, you couldn't you couldn't you couldn't bring up nothing about george floyd black lives matter nothing on tiktok really nothing you See, can I type it in TikTok you can, you like can write it so i, I used to but i used to i did a, did. I did a couple videos you know i had a little fun i ain't did it in a while i want oh, okay. to though but i left it alone so they was blocking the george floyd stuff? yeah so like really? if you hashtag it or even try to type it in nothing was popping up not really? a video not mm -hmm. anything so i don't okay. know yeah. i left it alone though make my own video i know huh? it was <laughs> fun though i think i did like one and then after that i did kind of didn't i did a couple of them because i got on there recently and i was looking at like some of the videos and i was like they're not like how I was doing. Like, there's not the videos that I was doing before. And I'm like, Dude, what is this? I'm like, I know. They I'm old, so but, but I know. Man. But I'm just like, oh. I'm getting older. But We're yeah. not, you're not old. Yeah, I'm not old. It's just, all this stuff is new. Like, yeah. this is just, it's just for the newer generation. It's just, but I can catch up, I guarantee you. For real. Seriously, I, I don't you, doubt that. I give you young ones that <laughs> run there for your money. Mm -hmm. Seriously. But sure. yeah. It's, oh, this is good. It's probably good to do something with a female because. You know, doing yeah. these talks with guys sometimes doesn't work out because men are from Mars. Women men are from Venus. Mars. <laughs> so Seriously. Are. For real. So, yeah. Well, shoot. That was definitely a good conversation. That was. Um, that was. Was there any other things that you, like, experienced, I guess, during the Black Lives Matter movement as far as before and after? Um, like I'm saying, well, okay, well, my hair. Okay, yeah. So, like, okay, so how I have my hair now? Mm -hmm. Puffy all out. I wear my hair like this all the time. Okay. All the time. So, even before, like, before when I would go out with my hair like this, places that I didn't know, like, the looks I would get, it would be like, oh, my gosh. Mm -hmm. You're gorgeous. You're beautiful. You're like a new and queen, a new and princess. Yeah. And, yes, sometimes, can I touch your hair? I'm, really? Wait a minute. But I ain't gonna lie. Sometimes, yes. Go ahead. Go ahead and touch it. Just... Just a little bit. I know you're curious. They really be asking that. Yes, though? they ask me. Can I touch your hair? I'm like, it's very, and they always say it's very soft. I'm like, yes, thank you. I, you know, very soft. What do they expect it? To I don't feel know. Like? I think, I think they think it's rough. I don't know. I, it could get there. Trust me. Oh I can goodness. make it look and feel rough, but it's very soft. And they be like, oh, it's so soft. It's, it's nice. It's curly. Oh, how That's long did so it? That's just so weird and ignorant that, of that them they to actually, say that. Some people ask like, me, do you ever think about pressing it out? And no, why? to look, cause really, no. okay. Mostly, you know, black women, they wear their hairstyles like wigs and weaves and stuff yeah. to protect their styles. Protect, and then yeah. some people, you know, they do it because they want to look more European. Exactly. Without, it's kind of like an unconscious thing that they're doing. Because I still wear my weaves yeah, and my so wigs do. and so I don't give a damn what nobody say. I'm to the weaves and yeah. wig things because this gets tiring it. sometimes. Yeah, is that, and that's why you know what I mean? protect the style. Trying to, like, if, look at this. Okay, look at this. This is black, Okay. <laughs> So, yep. just imagine you want a slick ponytail. You ain't finna get no slick ponytail with this, okay? Yeah. Well, you because can, if I but press it, won't it up, last it's not going to last. The curl yeah. is going to come back in. My shrivel up. It be Our hair is like, no, we want to be out. So, yeah, I'm finna break this sucker up. I'm finna throw that's a why wig I on. That's why you see these braids on. And then it's like, when I do slap a wig on and I go out, 
the reactions I get is completely different from the reactions <laughs> that I get when I have my hair natural. Now, it's not bad. It's just right. more of a, damn, mama, damn, girl. You like, you look good. Like, it, it's, it's just, right. It, it's, it, it's funny to me, yeah. But it's just, <laughs> it's just weird that, that you could look one way and get a different reaction. And then you can look another way oh. and get a different reaction, too. And then I notice, too, mm -hmm. when I wear my hair like this, how do I say it? I don't want to say pull, but I attract right. a certain type of man. And then when I that wear my true. hair mm -hmm. with the weaves and the long ponytails, mm -hmm. I attract that, that a nose. certain type of man. Now, if the man that, that you know, if I attract a man that kind of knows me, that sees me around, he knows that right. me personally is in between. I'm a mix. I'm a mixture of exactly. both of those. I am right in the middle. But what I don't understand is, why the reactions are not the same. Right. And then it's crazy too because some of the guys didn't see me both ways. And they mm -hmm. gave me two really? completely different Wow. Completely reactions. But like That's again, crazy they were both good. But right. they were different reactions. Just a different but reaction. lately, you know, a lot of people have been telling me they like me more like this. Which just, you know, I, I, that's, I said, that's fine. Self. I'm like, okay, I appreciate it because yeah. I like me more like this. It gets tiring, but because I'm lazy too. Y'all don't know. This been like this for four days, and I ain't combed it. I only combed the top. <laughs> so no, you didn't. Uh, yep. But shoot. Oh well. Shoot. That's what it, it is. What it is. So, y'all. but that, that, that. But that's just that's just what I get when I go out, which is funny. But I guess it is. What it is guys. Just, you know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> They something do you, else. Do you, do you get any reactions like when you wear braids? Yeah, when you wear your. I puff? get the same type of reaction like you mentioned, like. When you wear your hair natural, you really do attract a certain type yeah. of guy. You get them, you know, them African kings. They're like, yeah, lady, Man. what's going on with you? You Fee -fee, know, I want to make the sure lion. you do it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then when you're wearing a weave, you get them, you know. I feel like it's more material. What's up, Ma? Come get this blunt. I got yeah. some at the house. Yep, exactly. Yep, <laughs> what? Yep. No, thank you. <laughs> and it's like, not, I want that. Mm, okay. Mm, Wait, mm. do I? No, I'm just kidding. Like, yeah, you know. If you would have got at me a different way, like if you would have said that differently, right? It then you would have got a different response from me. Exactly. It doesn't matter if you what type of man you were. If you would have said that differently, that is true. You you would have got a different response. But talking about some, come hit this blunt, come kick. Yeah. I can hit the blunt at my house. I, yeah, I kick seriously. It at my house. I got all of that at my house. Why should I go out there and hit you and kick it with you at your that's, house? That's the real. Talk you gotta. Right it's, there. A, it's 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 the way you gotta deliver. It's all about the delivery. You gotta. So then, do you ooh. like the which response you say you like more? That um, when you wear your hair natural. Because yeah, that's I, the ones that do they do that or no? No, they. Oh shit! Okay, like. <laughs> <laughs> or is it like a different? Like it's okay. Let me try to do an example. Okay, so like here go one example. They be like. Oh my God! You are so your hair. Oh my God, God. you should keep it just wow. like that. Then I got another one. My queen, my goddess, smile. Oh my God, you're just naturally wow. beautiful. Keep it like that. Can I get your number though? Where your man at? Right. I get that too with the natural right. hair. And then I just got some. Oh, you are so gorgeous. I like the fact that you are out here all natural and beautiful like that, and you don't even care. And do you know? Most females ain't even got that much hair on top of their head I like bet that. I do say that. <laughs> like, God, like, yo. <laughs> no, I just <laughs> Like, okay. And I'll be sitting there like this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to do. Just be like, okay. Yeah. I That's just be looking. Like, um, thank I don't you. know, yeah. Then when I got the weave and wig, they be like, damn, mm -hmm. all I could do is laugh. I ain't finna Let laugh. I'll be rolling. So do your personality change when you have your natural hair versus when you have your hair, your wig? Yeah, so weeks? it's like when I have my natural hair, I feel like when I have my natural hair, that's <laughs> Ashley. <laughs> nah. Yeah, you get Ashley. Okay. Now when I throw on that wee wig, you seen my new Instagram, it's that like, Pam from Martin? <laughs> yeah, I'm swinging that. I'm bougieing it. I'm okay. paying it. I'm forgetting. No, I'm just playing. No, but... No, but for when I like when I do throw on the weaves and the wigs and shit, like I ain't gonna lie, I feel like Sadiddy did a motherfucker. Yeah. Like whoop wop, there it is. Like she just got it done. Yeah, you don't know, touch it, don't it. pull it. We ain't bending it over. You ain't Stand it up that. like this. You not we we sleeping pretty, all of that. Like I think I'm cute. Basically is what I'm saying. Like when right. I got that, 
I'm cute. I know I'm cute. I'm right. gonna be I'm the cute shit, because shit, gonna stay the shit. because when I have that hair, I feel like that's what a lot of people are looking for anyway. Yeah. And it's like when I do have it on, I understand it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I understand the feel. I understand what they're looking at. I understand. Yeah. You know, and then I know why I'm putting it on because a lot of times too, I get tired of this. And to slap on a weave and a yeah. wig is so much easier. It really is. And then when you realize how easy it is, it's just like, you know what I just mean? Just do it. Yeah, yeah, it's just. It is. So, so I don't easier. know. That's but I like I my natural my hair. Wigs, but I can't even wear them because like I'm out, what I do. So I just got to put this on. Mm -mm. Well, I mean, I probably could, but it, ha it just has to be in a bun. Oh, I see. So, yeah. So, technically, I can't do nothing. Because mm -mm. I only get two days off. That's crazy. So, you know. So, mm -mm. yeah, but. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so that's cool though. I guess I kind of yeah. So I'm the exact you? same yeah, way. I'm like, yeah, mm -hmm. I'm the exact same way. When I got my braids or something, I just mm -hmm. like whatever. It's just like okay, I ain't got to do nothing to it. Walk out the house, go mm -hmm. and go about my business. But when I got my weave on, I'm like, oh yeah, I'm gonna make sure my whole outfit look mm -hmm. cute. Make sure mm -hmm. everything look good. And you definitely do get a lot of different stares yep. and stuff. They be like, oh dang, what's your name? Can I get your number? Yep. And I'm just like, mm. no, I'm just kidding. Yeah. And so when I wear my natural hair, I'm more like you know, I guess relaxed as mm -hmm. well but like mm -hmm. more in tune with i don't know myself yeah. as a person mm -hmm. and yeah i'm totally different with different hairstyles exactly yeah. i think everybody uh, is. yeah exactly yeah because um if my hair is red i'm bad and bougie i'm finna <laughs> act that bad and bougie right if it's green i'm finna act whatever the hell that green <laughs> means if we For money real. team on that money huh. train with that green money we right. finna act like that right. when i'm like this you see how i'm acting now that's me <laughs> We got to see. <laughs> Look, next video, we going to see her wear her hair done. Yeah, it's going to be a different attitude. Yeah. Y'all going to be like, who is that? Yeah. And that's the that's thing. But like, if you know me. And that's good. We can have different Every week, I look different. Like, every week, my hair is going to be different. It's because, I don't know. I, I, I can do that. it. Shoot. It's like, yeah. it's, just, it's just I'm able to do did. my own hair. Every week I, I came with a different hairstyle. Day. I was like, well, what she got on today? What's Every week, it's like, like I today? have to do, I have, even if it's my own natural hair, it's going to look different. And you now, did good honestly, with it, too. it yeah, thank you. Appreciate that. Because, <laughs> you, you know, good. I always talk about it's hard. <laughs> it, no, it was cute. It was always hard to do this. Like, it was cute. This is my go to style because my, because how I cut my hair off in like what, 2013, 14. So I had like yeah, a very short cut. Wow. So my, my back is short in my front. So I always push it up. Because if I push it to the back, I'm going to look like Peter Cottontail. Oh, and then along goodness. with the little shrinkage, it's going to be like. Pfft. Yeah. So I, I just be like, mean. nah, let me put it to the top. But I like my and natural stuff. It, yeah, so like it. next video, Shoot. I already know how I'm going to look. I'm going to have two braids. Just, I'm going to just braid this up. Boom. It's going to be simple and Shoot. easy. Yep. Keep it simple. That's what you can do. But that's why I like about our hair. We could do so much. So with, many So much things. with it. You know, um, it doesn't take a lot to do. No. Nope. I mean, well, mine do. I'm telling you, I got to Mine do, yeah. I'm telling you, I got to get up in there. And do. I think this took me like seven hours and Should I did see, it myself. Said, but said, it yeah, perfect. perfect. But it looked good. But. It looked good. Like, can you see it? It looked good. She did good. Uh, anybody that can do their own hair, you gotta give. Yeah, them that's true. You, you can't say nothing to. to somebody that can yeah. do their own hair. That's, that's true. That, but some girls, they don't know how to. They do don't know how to do their own hair. hair. Yeah, that's it. it took me I'm forever. saving a lot. We saving a lot of a lot money. of money. Cause it took shoes. Well, hair like this, you better know how to do it. Yeah, you got Can't to. You <laughs> if you don't know how something ain't right, you better get in that mirror and practice. And I got a girl too, so I really had to. Oh yeah. And she still don't like me to do her hair. So uh -huh. I just be like, you know what? But fine. Get on up out here then. Yeah, him. I just give him a little haircut. He cool. See, that's it. That's the boys. Is, that's that's kind of simple in that aspect. Woo, yeah, that's the wonders of having a boy. Yeah. Would you ever have let his hair grow out? Uh, yeah, yeah. I would. Yeah. And braid it up. He huh? actually was saying that he wanted to grow it out, so I kind of oh, yeah? been letting it grow out right now. But I don't know how long that's gonna last. We're going to see. If you, and then if I don't know. Really good, I feel like, the oils and start looking at Yeah, it. that's what I was wondering. I don't know what to use on his hair because I don't know if it will stop growing like at the length that it's at right now. No, know. if you, if you, you just, if you stop cutting it, like you probably ain't got to do all that. Just, just stop cutting it. His hair going to grow regardless. Yeah, he black. That's true. It's going to grow. And he's <laughs> and he only six. Yeah. His, what is the, I don't know what you call them, pures. Yeah. Whatever them things is in your... His is still open. You know how like ours be tight. Yeah. His yep. is still open. His hair is still growing like still fast. Growing. Yeah, the hair follicles true. are still coming out. Yeah, ours so. taking a sweet little time. For real. Tell me so. about it. You gotta do the wash his hair, cut it, trim it, all of that stuff. So but like, yeah. how long does it take you to wash your hair? Um, well, maybe like an hour, like to yeah. wash it, dry it, yeah. and then blow dry it, all of that good stuff. Mm. Maybe like around an hour. 
But I be, I, that mess is tedious. Yeah, it is. It's tedious. It is. Because, like, you, it's a lot of hair. It's uh -huh. thick. It is. Uh -huh. And you got to, like, section it off so, yep. and all of that. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Hey, girl. I understand yeah. it. I understand it all the way. Yep. So, <laughs> that was our talk. Anything else? No, I don't have anything else to say. I really Did you? No, I really don't have anything else right now. Okay. I think we discussed it. I feel pretty good. <laughs> yeah, so if y'all have any comments or anything, I want to hear what y'all think and what y'all, like, have as far as, like, experiences with Black Lives Matter and all of that stuff. So, make sure y'all write down below. All right, you guys. Thank you again, and we'll talk to you later. See you next time. Everybody enjoy your day and have a blessed one. Thank you.